Hey everybody, I'm that one cat and uh, happy Halloween if it is Halloween if you're watching this on Halloween You're sitting there with your big bucket of candy Shoving shoving the Snickers bars in your face. You got chocolate over your face. You got your candy corn Your gross ass cat. No one likes candy corn. All right, I'm just gonna start I'm gonna I'm gonna put this out there just in the beginning of this video I'm gonna I'm gonna turn some people away if you like candy corn. What is wrong with you? Candy corn is disgusting. Anyway, obviously there's a lot of spooky <laughs> creatures that I can draw now, uh, this is the time for spooky creatures, you know, there's all sorts, there's this guy, there's there's that thing, everyone's seen that thing. Um, but there's one creature that I always see that I, 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 I want to know more about, I don't know much about it, I see it in games and TV shows, I think I've seen it in the grocery store, but um, it's this one creature that I, I just want to know more about, it's interesting, it's got an interesting name, and we all know what it is, I think. <laughs> um, and after an hour of research, I basically know nothing more about this creature. I, I can't find any singular source that seems to have a cohesive story behind this creature. So anyway, here we go. Here we Wendigo. The Wendigo, aka the big scary moose creature thing that stalks the woodlands eating people. From what I can understand, it originated as a Native American folktale. I think it's primarily from the Algonquin. And it's basically one of those cautionary tales that warns people against doing bad things. It's um, it's to warn people against cannibalism, excessive greed, just basically anything that goes against your standard cultural behaviors. If you do any of these naughty things, you will turn into this malevolent spirit known as the Wendigo. So basically, Wendigos are people. Like, they're not just some random cre- there, there aren't like a family of Wendigos sitting out in their- out in their little hut in the woods watching The Simpsons or something until they're getting ready to go kill people. The Wendigo is basically a person who's cursed for all their misdeeds, which I don't- I, is that a curse? Is that a curse to become super fast and cool and be like really strong and have a cool moose head? This seems pretty cool. That's a good trade-off, I think, being being a douchebag and then getting turned into a big jacked moose. You know? So much like other cultures, this seems to be a folklore tale that's about um, trying to get people to follow the rules, basically. If you don't follow the rules, you turn into a Wendigo. It's kind of like Slenderman. I'm pretty sure that's a German thing, isn't it? Like Slenderman, he's like, you know, the kids, kids, you better behave, or if you go out into the woods, the Slender Man's gonna eat you, or something like that. I think, like, the Slender Man was, like, if you get lost in the woods and you're a good child, the Slender Man will, like, escort you back to your house. But if you're an evil child, he kills you. So it's like... I, I mean, the, the story there is not to be a douchebag, it's just don't get lost in the woods. <laughs> Our Slender Man's gonna come get you. But speaking of horrible things that will happen if you're naughty, you should please subscribe and turn on your notifications, and that way you won't turn into a Wendigo. I can't guarantee that, but it's a safe bet, you know? And if you're enjoying the video, please leave a like. I stream games every so often right here on YouTube, so if you want to come hang out sometime, uh, please do. Anyway, Wendigo used to be people. They were basically people who, it seems like it's, it's primarily targeted towards cannibalism. There's like excessive greed and a couple other things that are listed on there, but it seems like it's mainly towards cannibalism, so it's like, don't don't be a cannibal, or you'll turn into this. So, I was kind of disappointed, though, because I, I thought that the Wendigo was actually, like, a creature that... It was, like, its own thing. I didn't know it was actually just a person that morphs into this grotesque monster. But, uh, or it could just be, like, a really naughty moose. Who knows? I mean, who knows if just people turn into Wendigos? It could be a moose. I always see them with a moose skull. I don't understand why a person would grow a moose skull. Maybe there was just a moose that was really naughty, and he didn't follow the strict moose laws. <laughs> There's a lot of different depictions of what the Wendigo is supposed to look like. It seems like there's not really, like, one strict, um, traditional sense of what it looks like. I mean, it, it also doesn't exist, so that probably helps, too. There's not, like, a it's not like a photograph I can point to and be like, Oh, yeah, that's the Wendigo right there. But the depiction that I see most often of the Wendigo is this kind of, like, tall, lurching, uh, creature with, like, long arms. It's very slender and sinewy. It has, like, long fingers and nails and stuff. And it's got haunches. That seems to be, like, a consistent theme is that it has haunches. But the skull seems to be, um, usually a moose. I don't know why a moose. I don't know why they saw a moose and thought, that's demonic. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I guess horns. I think horns in general just always kind of give off a demonic vibe. But I, I've never seen a moose and was like, yeah, that probably worships Satan. The only game that comes to mind that has the Wendigo in it, I think was like Divinity 2. Like I recently just played Divinity 2 
with a couple of my friends, and the Wendigo was one of the creatures in it. But she was like a witch. I don't know. I don't know. She was just like a witch that kind of like turned into a monster. I don't really know if that has anything to do with like the actual Wendigo, though. Or maybe her name was just Wendigo, and it was just a really strange coincidence. And then the other depiction I remember was like one of the one of the first episodes of Supernatural. Uh, had a Wendigo in it, but the Wendigo in that one was, I, if I remember this correctly, it was just like a tall, kind of lurching creature, but it just looked like a dude, it just looked like a guy's face, it looked like Gollum, if Gollum like went to the gym a little bit, and he, he like stood up a little bit more, <laughs> it was just this weird, creepy, ghoulish thing, but, which by the way, Supernatural, that's a really great show, I know I'm like 25 years late on this, but I started watching it, and it's actually really, really good. I remember not watching it because it came out around the same time as, like, Twilight, and, and everyone was, like, cashing in on that sort of, like, teenage, melodramatic, uh, supernatural kind of, like, vampire, werewolf vibe thing. And that's sort of, like, what I thought the show was, like, because it's, like, these two handsome dudes, and it's, like, two handsome dudes, like, hunting for vampires, and it's, like, I thought that that's what the show was. It was, like, aimed more towards, like, like teenage girls and it's all like oh yeah they're brothers but you know they they also they get naked a lot i don't know <laughs> i thought it was like a show for like young kids or something um or like a twilight-esque thing and then i watched the first episode just for shits and giggles it's really good i i haven't watched the whole series yet i still have like a million episodes to catch up on but it's, it's a really good show i know that's a really strange tangent. I know. I think the show's over now. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, have you guys heard of that show Lost? I think that's gonna go somewhere. As you're watching this, you'll probably see that I added color and then took it away. Um, I originally was gonna draw this in color, and the background was looking pretty good. I had some sort of like interesting color combinations, but the Wendigo himself just started looking kind of strange. And I, I don't know. Like I still, I still have kind of a hard time with color, um, like painting wise. I just don't really understand color combinations and stuff like that and like value and saturation. I'm still sort of learning that. I've gotten a lot better at anatomy, but color and color theory is something that's still like, I, I'm sort of shooting in the dark half the time. So like if it does look good, it's usually just cause I guessed and I got it right. But his colors just didn't seem right. And no matter what I did, he just looked weird. Like he just stood out a lot. So what I did, what I ended up doing is just doing it in grayscale, just going back to basics and just Sticking with a grayscale, because I mean, value. If your if your values are off, the colors will look off. So I just figured I'd just kind of like simplify and just do it in grayscale, which I think is a really good, really good thing for people to practice. If you're getting, if you're starting into art, you should definitely start with grayscale, just because it simplifies things and it's it's just a lot easier to like process, and, and it's super important. Like it's the foundation for everything else. Like if you don't. Like I said before, like if, if your color, if your values are off, your colors will seem off. Like you might have like really good colors and like a really good color combination, but if the values are weird, it's gonna look weird no matter what. Like you're you're as as good of colors you can possibly make. Uh, if the if the values are wrong, it's gonna look really weird. So maybe at a later date I'll add color to it again uh, when I feel a little bit more comfortable with. Cause like I'm not you know I don't really do creatures that often. Like I don't really know. Like, especially, like, fur, or, like, whatever type of skin he had. Because he has, like, weird skin. Like, I, I drew this really majestic-looking wig on him <laughs> that I also erased, because it just looked really strange. It looked like it was some sort of L'Oreal commercial, where it's just like, Oh, you want a mane like the Wendigo? Look at him, so, so fresh and so flowing with hair. I tried not to focus too much on this one, because I think something that... At least for me, I think that's something that I struggle with a lot is I'm always trying to perfect it. I'm always trying to redraw it and redraw it and erase it and redraw it. And, uh, you know, I just, I, I think my best advice for artists is just to know your limit. It's better to finish a drawing than to continuously erase and redo it. Because sometimes the idea in your head is limited by the skill that you have at the moment. And you just... You need to know when you've achieved the best that you can for now, if that makes any sense. So like, you know, maybe what you imagine in your head, you just don't have the skill to pull off. So, it, But um, that also like shows you that there's things that you need to practice at. So it shows you what you need to work at. So just do the best you can at the time and just move on. Just move on to the next thing. Don't, don't you know, linger on it for too long. I mean, not saying like you shouldn't, you know, try to figure it out if it's, if it's messed up, but don't linger on something for too long. It's good to just do the best that you can, acknowledge that that's the best that you can, 
acknowledge that there's things that you need to improve and then just move on and just try to improve on those things and the next time you make something just focus on that stuff also as a side note i've been trying to use the youtube stories more and i posted a picture of this sketch asking viewers if they knew what this creature was going to be and someone answered saying the wendaho <laughs> i don't know if that was a spelling error but it made me chuckle and uh, I don't know if the Wendho is actually a thing, which I'm sure in this crazy Rule 34 internet world of ours, I'm sure that's already uh, that's already been done left and right. But uh, I, I got an idea to draw the Wendho. <laughs> so if you'd like to see me draw my interpretation of what I think the Wendho is, please let me know in the comments. I don't know if I'm able to post that video, but I'll give it a shot. So that's it for this video. If you guys have anything you'd like to see me draw and uh, discuss, Please let me know in the comments. I want to make videos for you guys. I want to make the stuff that you guys want to see. So any ideas that you guys give me, I usually try to go with it and see what I can make out of it. So uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content. And thank you for watching, and have a very good and safe Halloween.